if you have Obamacare and are 65 or disabled, you must enroll in Medicare by September 30 deadline. It's very important because there are major penalties for late enrollment. And we're going to go into that in this video. Lifetime late enrollment penalties. Many older Americans who have Affordable Care Act or Obamacare insurance policies are going to miss the September 30 deadline to enroll in Medicare, and they need more time to make the change, advocates say. A lifetime of late enrollment penalties typically await people who don't sign up for Medicare Part B, which cover doctor visits and outpatient services when they first become eligible at age 65. That includes people who mistakenly thought that because they had insurance through ACA or the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare marketplaces, they don't need to enroll in Medicare. Earlier this year, Medicare officials offered to waive penalties for Obamacare or Affordable Care Act insurance buyers under a temporary rule change that ends September 30. Now, they might increase that waiver, but as of today, it's not available uh, past the 30th of September. And the way they calculate the Part D penalties is for your prescriptions, 1% of the average monthly prescription premium times the number of months you were late, the amount of your penalty, and that's for life. 65 or disabled, asking for waiver offer applies not only to people over 65 who have kept their marketplace plans, but also to younger people who qualify for Medicare through a disability after two years and choose to use marketplace plans. The waiver also allows Medicare beneficiaries who had earlier realized their mistake in keeping a marketplace plan to ask for a reduction or elimination of the penalty. It's an easy mistake. It's easy to see how people can make mistakes. Since Medicare Part A hospitalization benefit is usually free, some seniors who like their marketplace coverage incorrectly that thought incorrectly that they had nothing to lose by signing up for Part A and keeping their marketplace plan. Other people receiving Social Security time and disability benefits opt to keep their marketplace plan and drop Part B after the Social Security Administration enrolled them automatically in Medicare when they became eligible. If beneficiaries miss, miss the September 30 deadline, the only way for them to get out of penalties is by proving they declined Part B because a government employee misinformed them. Word to the wise, a government employee misinformed them. There are specific times when you will want to make sure you're aware of your options, including when you first turn into age 65, if you become completely disabled after two years, during Medicare's annual enrollment period, which is October 15th to December 7th, if you work past 65 and coverage under your employer plan changes or ends, remember, that's a special enrollment. If you're over 65 but you kept working and didn't apply for Medicare, but your employment plan stops, you could then apply for Medicare under special enrollment. For assistance regarding Medicare and to investigate your options, call me for personal service, 845-380-5809. Another penalty, no coverage until July. For the first time, insurers will be prohibited from issuing a marketplace plan if they know the member is eligible for Medicare and the 218 policy is significantly different. That's crucial. How do people get into Obamacare if they belong to Medicare? Well, some agents weren't doing the right thing or were missed in form. Those who find themselves without a marketplace plan could be in for another surprise. They won't have insurance for outpatient care until July 1st. You know, most plans start January 1st. You won't have coverage until July 1st because Medicare imposes a waiting period before Part B coverage kicks in for late comers. Extending the deadline could lessen a significant hardship for many people because they're unaware of the repercussions that could result from keeping their marketplace coverage. So please, get the word out. Check with everybody in your family that's 65 or disabled and been disabled for two years, regardless of the age. Make sure that they're in Medicare or if they're in Obamacare, make sure they get out of it by September 30. Please subscribe and share this information 
and become a regular follower of our site. Thank you. Bye-bye.